thank you so much everyone and thank you to the organizers Hamsana, thank you for your words as well this morning um, I'm here as your member of parliament and I'm also here as a Canadian and as a citizen of the globe this is not the world that our children deserve we must never forget that behind all terror regimes it is the people who are suffering all across the globe millions are living in territories where there are ongoing armed conflicts because of the endless search of the power of their cruel leaders. We must, recognize, we must recognize and uphold human rights and international law at home and abroad always. I stand in solidarity with Ukrainians and with all the people whose lives are derailed and shattered by war because of our children deserve peace. All of our children. Canada stands in solidarity with the people of Ukraine and the 1.5 million Ukrainian Canadians. And Canada stands with all of you here today in your sadness and your despair. And I'm so thankful for every one of you for showing up this morning or this afternoon to be together, to lean on each other in this dark time and to see Ukrainian flags with Canadian flags. We gather like this not only because we can or because we want to help, but because we know what is possible. We know that what this world could be if we stand up for it and defend it. And you have done that today and keep doing that tomorrow and as long as it takes. The people of Ukraine need us and we must all call on Russia to stop the aggression. We call on Russia to immediately halt all hostile and provocative actions against Ukraine and withdraw military and proxy forces from the country. Ukrainian people have the right to live free and without fear. I'm going to try a Ukrainian proverb. Lubovs nie deshlag boiduges is nie pravdana. And it means love will find a way and indifference find an excuse. To the proud sovereign nation of Ukraine, we are with you in this fight, one of justice, one of democracy, one of identity. And I want to thank you all for reaching out to my office. The situation continues to evolve, and I'm heading to Ottawa tomorrow to continue to support my colleagues, Minister of National Defense. Minister of International Development and the Minister of Refugees and Citizenship. It's going to take all of us. Keep using your voices. It's very important. We cannot be silent on this issue. Let's pray for peace and pray for victory for Ukraine. Thank you.